Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are going to install these uh, radiator grill guards. So, they go in here and they are supposed to keep all these leaves and debris out. So, we'll see how that works out. I'm going to clean it up a bit, get all those leaves and everything out of there and then I'll start the installation process. It's nothing more than a couple of um, plastic blocks that you glue into place, secure the screw and you mount these up and you sink a screw through. So stand by, this will be a quick little video and we'll see what it will happens, see how it is. Hopefully it won't take too long. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so the radiator grill guards are in. It was uh, a bit more fiddly than I uh, expected it to be for the simple fact that the alcohol prep pads and the activation tube to so um, it activates the uh, 3M tape when you stick it onto the uh, spider bodywork uh, they were all dried out so no alcohol prep pads and no activation tube so I had to go and source my own and it took me a little bit longer than I wanted it to so I will say, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward installation. I mean, if you have any mechanical ability whatsoever, uh, you should be able to get it done. I mean, it's really not a difficult job. I put it up on a ramp just so I wouldn't have to be nailing on the ground and tear up my already torn up knee. But yeah, it's, uh, like I said, pretty easy, straightforward. Um, had, to act, had to source my own alcohol prep and my own activation, so that, that, that wasn't, you know, that, that delayed me. But I would say all in all, between putting a bike up on the ramps for my personal comfort and um, vacuuming out all around the radiators and making sure everything back there was nice and clean and there was no debris left over and, you know, prepping and everything else. I mean, all in all, from start to finish, I would say is about an hour. Maybe an hour and 20 minutes. I mean, I, I was in no particular rush. I never am. You know? All right. So it's lunchtime. And what I'm going to do now, which I don't like that the dealership did, was I don't know if you can see in here or not, but the dealership ran the lead for my battery tent out here. I don't like that. I'm going to change that. And I am going to put it up here in the front where a lot of people have it. So I'm not gonna record that because that's there is just uh, moving a wire. It should take all about 10 minutes. All right, so hope you enjoyed this little video. I didn't record the process of putting it together because yeah, I would have I would have disappointed everybody because I was, uh, the alcohol prep pads and the activation tube were uh, useless and I had to source my own, but otherwise, yeah. Like I said, if you have uh, any mechanical ability at all, yeah, you can get it done. Sometimes you need three hands, but otherwise it's uh, pretty good. Oh, and a right angle drill. Boy, oh boy, do you need a right angle drill. All right, take care, peace, thanks, and uh, don't forget, give me a thumbs up and a like, and tell your friends, let's get my channel going, all right? Peace, and God bless. All right, here's some bonus footage. Well, I took the... Uh battery tender lead off the control arm. I did not like it there. I, I don't like any wires or cables hanging near my suspension. You know, if the uh, zip tie had ever broken that was holding it in place, it could have went into the back of the radiator fan and poof. I can imagine BP's price on a radiator fan. Oh yeah, never mind the shock. Um, so I moved it over here to the bulkhead and um, I just um, drilled out that grommet a little bit and cut it in half and uh, slid the cable through and done. So there you go, a little bit of bonus footage. Uh, it took me all of 10 minutes. All right, so thanks for sticking with me. Um, like I said, give me a big thumbs up, share the video, help me get my channel going. Thank you. Peace and God bless.